Salamun alaikum my friends and welcome to the next episode of my Fenerbahce career mode and today we got episode number seven and you can see we are top of the league but first of all I want to say congratulations to every Galatasaray fans out there my friends um, for the derby win Wesley Snyder amazing goals I've, I've posted it on my um, Facebook page so wow who scores so nice goals in the closing minutes has deserved to win the derby I've, I have to admit Fenerbahce hasn't played um, so bad but Wesley Snyder this was incredible so um, well deserved but we are top of the league at our career mode here um, we have 30 matches uh, played already thank you all for your great support under the last career mode episode over 300 likes let's smash this again Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and yes, first of all, I'm going to tell you what we are going to do in this episode. As you can see, we are um, at the end of November, we are going to play at home versus Kassen Pasha next, then we got an away match versus Mersin, then we are going to play at home versus Rizaspor, and at the end of this year, we got an away match at um, Gaziantep Sport. So... What I am going to do in today's episode is that I am going to simulate all four matches and you guys have to tell me which new player I should get in the transfer window. I have noted a few players here. I am going to inquire about them in the next few seconds and will show you my ideas what I am planning to do and you will have to vote for the player in the poll in the link down below in the description but why am i going to get a new player maybe you have seen the uh, istanbul derby bruno alves in real life and in my career mode i am not that happy with him so i don't want to say anything about the situation in the derby about the red card it was just stupid but you have to leave the club my friend you are going to be added to the transfer list and we need now a new center back and Yes, you guys have to help me now. I, I don't know which player I'm going to sign. I'm going to give you some options. If your player you would like to suggest me is not under the five players I I'm going to um, tell you now, please leave a comment down below. That would be crazy. Also, leave a comment if you have any um, suggestions for improvements in my career mode. And I think a lot of you are interested in the top scorers of the Super League as well. Ibricic is leading. Um, next to him is Josue, then Budak Yilmaz. Um, you can see it. Semi Shenturk. Wow, nice. Six goals. Then we got Tali Uchan with six goals. We got Alper Potok, five goals. Nadi Chifchi, five goals. Emenike, five goals. And um, yes. Ah, uh, yes. This was um, the Fenerbahce lineup here. And the most assists um, Tali Uchan, three, uh, four assists. And Musa So, three assists. Um, so, looks not that bad, I have to say that. Clean sheets, Volkan Demirel 6, that is um, really important. Yellow cards, uh, there should be Bruno Alves, yes, 4. And red cards, Bruno Alves twice, oh my god. So, we are going to get into our next match. And this is our lineup, um, haven't changed that much. 4-2-3-1 um, formation, we are going to go into the simulation match um, versus Kasim Pasha. Then we will see how much um, the players are worth we have inquired about. And then Musa So scores the 1 0. <coughs> Sorry, my friends. 2 0. Bruno Alves, yellow card, please. No red card, my friend. Come on. Mehmet Topal. Okay, easy win, easy win. Yes. Let's get the three points. It's over right now. No, not in Chifchi. One more goal. It's over. And here we go, my friends. This is my short lift with the interesting players. First of all, we got Laporte, who is way too expensive for our club. Then we got Bonucci, 30 million euro. It's not too bad. Um, 27 years old from Juventus Turin. Then I want to sign Yangba Mbiva because he's 25 years old. Um, it's a great player, but he's on low end to Newcastle, so I can't get him at the moment. Then we got Adil Rami. I've forgotten that that he has ju just signed for AC Milan. And the next interesting player is Lamine Zane. And um, 10 million, not too bad. 
But the most interesting player, in my opinion, is Nikola Nkulu. And um, 24 years old, 16.5 million. Look at the stats. It's insane. So you will have the um, opportunity to vote in the poll down below. If you want me to sign another player, leave a comment down below, please. So the career mode will be online every week on Wednesday and Saturday. So my friends, you can um, re remember it or make a reminder in your calendar. There will be career mode on my channel. On Sunday, there is my um, German um, series. Um, das hat mit FIFA nichts zu tun. Um, so there I am going to check out squads from you, from my subscribers, and tell you if this squad is good or not. And um, yes, of course, there will be squad builders, wagers, pink slips, and so on in the future. So make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever as well. Links are in the description below. So first of all, you can see Bruno always picked up a suspension again that's why we want to get rid of this player i don't know why what is going on with him and Egemem will miss two months so we got a big problem at the center back position and we will see what we can do now Egemem, yes there could be back here and for uh da, da, da. yes serdar has to play or we could go with um um michael kadlec um, I would say let's play with Cutledge because he hasn't played that much. Oh, not Bruno. Uh, so. so let's do it this way. Oh, Sali Uchan 74. And yes, I would say let's get into the match. Away match, again, a bit risky to simulate this match, but I want to simulate it because I was talking so much about the transfers and. Emenike scores the 1 0. That is important. Let's take this win home. Come on. Whoo. Oh, they got Wellington. Not a bad striker. And hopefully, um, we can take this win home. Come on. Come on, team. Come on. Come on. We can do it. Last minute. And we got it. We got it. It's important. Important three points. And we will see now that we are still top of the league. Oh, you can see how close it is. Oh, oh, oh. So our next match at home versus Rizas Board and Bruno Alves is back in our starting lineup with Cutledge in the center back uh, positions. And we got Diego who's scoring the 1-0, but Kweke. Oh, come on. Oh, and 2-1 Musa So. Yes, that's important. That's important, my friends. We get into the second half. Let's go. Come on, team. And, oh, I think that will be close. Oh, Bruno Alves is uh, off, oh, oh, thankfully. And 3-1 That's This one is over. This one is over. Again, important win. And as you can see, still top of the league, of course. And I got one more player I've inquired about, my friend, friends. And it is Asani Lakluchimia. Yes, here we go. Asani Lukimia, 28 years old, 3 million euro from Werder Bremen. And you have to decide now in the poll down below. Lukimia, Nkulu, Zane or Bonucci or another player. Please make sure to vote in the poll down below. Would be great. And we will move on. And we are going to continue with the contract. And there you can leave a comment as well. Um, because some of our players have no contract anymore. And I'm going to um, offer Matt a new contract and um, he will get his um, his um, wishes. And I think Matt is an important player. Um, Bekir could be important as well. We will get rid of Emre because he's old. I think he should retire after this um, season. Um, Koit is going to retire. You can see it now. Or maybe he will stay one more, one more year. I don't know. Um, ah, they're quite great player, but I don't know. So I'm going to offer him a contract for one year. Emre definitely has to leave. Bekir, he's a Turkish center back. I need him normally. And um, yes, let's let's offer him a contract as well. And Egerman, I need him as well. So we are going to sign them um, or offer them for um, yes. Ah, Selçuk Shahin. My love, my love. You're going to get one more, one more year contract. 
<laughs> that's my own decision here now and um yes i think we're go going to get a new goalkeeper because 46 waiting is not the best i mean he's young i know um how old is he oh he's 25 so he definitely has to leave and then we have no problems with the um, contracts anymore and our last match for today we are playing at gaziantep and ooh, that will be hard in my opinion yellow card for them galatasaray is leading and we are down by one goal Bruno with again a yellow card. Hopefully we get an offer for him. Come on. The kite missed the penalty. Oh, typical Turkish league match. Away. And yes, simulation. We cannot win every uh, match. And yes, we have lost this match, unfortunately. And we are now, we have dropped to this third position. So my friends, this is the end of this episode today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to comment down below, leave a like and make sure to vote in the poll down below. Would be great. And we will see us next time. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And yeah, peace.